welcome a continuation of our series on the central tendency under the statistics we are taking the second episode of the median which is the median from a grouped data so the median from a group data can be estimated by the following method there are three methods at which we can estimate the median from a group data which is having a range of intervals one the use of a histogram the two the cumulative frequency curve and then the interpolation method which is the formula method so when you are asked to estimate the median and the data is given to you whereby you are drawing a histogram you can find the median from the histogram by dividing the histogram into two equal parts so the number at the middle of your uh, data becomes the median as in this is an example of a histogram being drawn from a set of values or data so we have one two three four five there are five bars so we can see that the middle is going to be on this so one two one two the middle so if you use your ruler and divide this particular rectangle into two equal parts so if i have this i'm going to place my ruler in the middle exactly and draw a line so when i draw the line the number that is going to be at the middle part where the line or the arrow is pointing you know this is from 29.5 to 39.5 making the interval to be 10 or the class size to be 10 so we are going to say that in the middle of this is going to be 5 so 5 plus 29.5 that will be 34.5 so this will be the median if this data is given to us so per the use of a histogram after you have drawn you can estimate the median through this process the second one is the use of a cumulative frequency curve so from a data your frequency curve could also look like this for the case of the second method the use of cumulative frequency curve a data will be given to you which consists of intervals then you have found their class less than or mark less than to use to construct this this is going to be the cumulative frequency curve you know that when you are having a cumulative frequency axis it is the accumulation of all the frequencies so the total frequency in this case is going to be 5. So to find that, we find the 50th percentile. We know 50 over 100 give us what? 50%. So the 50th observation, which is going to be 1 out of 2, which is equal to the formula of median. 1 out of 2 of the sigma F item. So if I have this, it's going to be 1 out of 2 of the total frequency, which is 5. Why 5? Because it's accumulation. So the last one will be 5. So we have this. This means that I'm having 2.5 of the frequency. 2.5 of the frequency. So I'm going up. Where can I find 2.5? Here. So you draw a line. To meet the curve, then you bring it down. So as you bring it down, the value you have here is on the cumulative frequency. So you are looking for the mark, whether it's a mark, ages, or height of people. So the number that you are seeing at this place, I can see, let's say, 2 added on to 34.5. So 34.5 plus 2 will give me 36.5 as the median of this data. No more a range of numbers, but just a value. You are looking for a value. You've got an interval of this could have been 0 to 5 or 0 to 4, 0 to 9. In that order, 0 to 4, 5 to 9, 10 to 15 in that order. So we are looking for just a number in the middle. And that will have been 36. Now, the third one is the interpolation method, which I mentioned is the formula method. So the median of any group data is given by L 
1 plus n over 2 minus sigma fm over all this over fm times c. So if we are looking at this, our L1, the lower class boundary of the lower, uh, lower class boundary of the median class, then this, which is the sigma FM. So the sigma FM is the sum of all frequencies lower than the frequency of the median class. Then what is next? We are having this as FM being the frequency of the median class whereby C is just the class size so these are the definition of the, the formula or the terms in the formula now if I'm giving this I need to find the median you know this if this is the middle it's going to be the median class not the median we are looking for the number that will be in the middle so we are saying the median class how do we find the median class? We can estimate that the median is going to be half of the sigma, so half of the total frequency, which will be 20 and 30. So half of 30 give us what? 15th observation. 15th observation. Meaning if I'm adding the data, when I get to 15, this plus this plus this, well, I end up having 15 and more. So this very, very interval is going to be our median class. But since the first one is talking about the lower class boundary of the median class, this must be written in the class boundary. Meaning the difference between this is one. Half of that is half. So you subtract half of this. So I'll be having... 19.5 to add a half to this 29.5 that become the median class boundary so the lower meaning the l1 is going to be this so from this question i'll have my l1 equals to 19.5 19.5 is the lower class boundary good the second one which is going to be Sigma FM, the sum of all frequencies lower than or below the median class, the frequency of the median class. What is the frequency of the median class? This is the median class. Frequency is going to be 12. So we are adding the frequency below. Frequency before or lower, right? So this plus this will give you 11. So this is going to be 11. Then the next one is going to be our FM, which is actually the frequency of the median class. The median class. And the median class is this. So the frequency becomes 12. What do you think the C will be? The C is the class size. The difference between the upper class boundary and the lower class boundary. So what could that be? The difference between the upper class boundary and the lower class boundary, not only of the middle median class, but all of them. If you find it, this is going to be zero minus half will be negative half, nine point five. If you add the two, you will get ten. If you subtract here, you also get ten. I mean, you add because it will be nine point five minus negative zero point five. Right addition. So the class size is just going to be ten. So all that we are looking for, we find, except this. So that is going to be, the N is the sigma F. The sigma F is the total frequency. The total frequency itself. So we have gotten all the values we need. All we need is to substitute the values into the formula. So from here, our median is just going to be lower class boundary, which is going to be, uh, I think, 19... 0.5 plus into bracket 30 over 2 minus the sum of all this will be 11 divided by this which is our 12 right 
all this multiplied by 10, which is the class size. So this 19.5 plus, this is going to be 15 minus 11, all over 12 times 10, right? So let's go step further, 19.5 plus this here is going to be, let me just say 4, right? 4 over 12, that is 4 as the numerator divided by 12 times 10. I believe we can be able to see 2 as a common factor going here, or even 4 can go here 1 and go here 3. So I'm left with 10 out of 3. So 19.5 plus 1 times 10, 10 divided by what? 3. So you only have to multiply 3 by this plus this divided by 3. Or we can also find the decimal of this, which we can have the value to be here. 19.5 plus the decimal of this will be 3.5. 333 recurring. You add the whole numbers, you get 22 point this plus this will be 8. The zero there will give you 3. So in this case, you can see the middle number here between the 20 and 29 is going to be 22.83. As the median, the middle of your data, not the range itself or not the median class but the middle, which is the median value or median class mark. I believe this video is uh, okay for you to be able to find the, the median from any group data, either the use of histogram, the cumulative frequency, or the interpolation word method. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Yes, go and like the video. Leave your comments below. Subscribe and click on the notification button for more notification. Come back to this space. Let's continue the tutorial on statistics. Bye-bye.